Ito ang 106.3 Dance Radio. Dance Radio. Prepare yourself. Ang silid aralan sa radio. Hatid namin ay makabagong paraan ng pagtuturo at kalaman. Mapagbaga, tanghali o hapon man yan. Ang istasyong magbibigay impormasyon kahit sa man. Alright, here we go. 106.3 Dance Radio. Tonya Aurora National High School, Santa Rita, Aurora, Isabela. This 106.3 DWBR FM. Physics, Chemistry, Earth Science, Biology, Biochemistry, Environmental Science. These are some branches of science. Science is about a whole lot more than that. And to sum it up, we believe that science is the way of helping the brain grow in finding new knowledge and help us defeat our curiosity and how the world develops and works today. Science, this is your class. And this is science. And now, here is your host for the day. Blessed afternoon to all our viewers and listeners, especially to our grade 7 learners. Again, welcome to our class in Science 7. So this is the third week, Ma'am Rio, for our first shift, uh, first quarter, shift 2. Shift 2? Yes. Oh, yes, Ma'am Donna. So before we start our session, I just want to greet our Chief Education Supervisor and Officer in Charge of our school, Dr. Rodrigo G. Pasqua, and also our Assistant Principal, Madam Ruby R. Guillermo, and to all head teachers, teaching and non-teaching personnel, a blessed afternoon to everyone. So, Ma'am Bell, wow, Ma'am <laughs> Bell, what do we expect to our discussion this afternoon? Yes, Ma'am Rio, so we are expecting that our students should be able to identify each matter, whether it is a pure substance or a mixture, and differentiate the different ways of separating components of mixtures. Wow! Ayan! So, bali dalawang ano pala ito? Ano, Ma'am Donna? Yes. Oo, bali dalawang... Ang tawag doon? Um, Lesson. Yes. Una dyan yung... Um, they will identify whether it is pure, pure substance, substance or a mixture. mixture. And then yung mga methods on how to separate, separate mixtures. Mixture. So, it... It looks so interesting yung topic natin this afternoon. So to all viewers and listeners, hold on until the end of our session. Ano ba yan? Ready na tayo. <laughs> yes. Okay, so, so it's Science Terrific Time! Physics, Chemistry, Earth Science, Biology, Biochemistry, Environmental Science. These are some branches of science. Science is about a whole lot more than that. And to sum it up, 
We believe that science is a way of helping the brain grow in finding new knowledge and help us defeat our curiosity of how the world develops and works today. Science, science, science. This is your class, and this is science. day to all our listeners, especially to our grade 7 learners. It's a wonderful world and a beautiful day. I am teacher Yufei Magawai, your radio teacher in science. It's science time! It's nice to be with you in acquiring new knowledge in our third lesson for quarter 1 titled Two Worlds Apart Pure Substances versus Mixtures So sit back, relax, and get started! From the previous lesson, we discussed about elements and compounds. What have you learned about this topic? Ma'am, we learned about the characteristics of elements and compounds. That's right! What else? We also learned to distinguish elements from compounds and to classify them, ma'am. Good! Can you differentiate elements from compounds, dear learners? Yes, ma'am. Element is composed of single type of atom which cannot be broken down further by chemical means, while compound is made up of atoms of different elements held together by chemical bond, ma'am. Very good! You really understood our previous lesson. And today, learners, you are expected to first distinguish mixtures from substances based on a set of properties. Second, classify matter as to pure substances or mixtures. Look inside your kitchen. What are examples of matter can you find? Hmm? Ma'am, water, vinegar, soy sauce, toothpaste, soda, salt, table sugar, and many others, ma'am. Very good! You can distinguish matter in your kitchen as a pure substance or a mixture. We also find substances and mixtures in the air we breathe, the food we eat, and the water we drink. Science Trivia Science Trivia Science Trivia Did you know seawater is a mixture of many different substances? Some of these substances can be observed when the water in seawater evaporates and leaves behind salt. Water, or H2O, is a pure substance, a compound made of hydrogen and oxygen. As water evaporates, it distills or leaves the salt behind. This trivia is brought to you by manoa.hawaii.edo Kaagham Doña Aurora National High School and this station. It's Science Time! You're listening to Teacher Real. I am back! Are you ready to know the difference between pure substances and mixtures? Yes, ma'am. Listen to this dialogue, dear learners. Hello, Teacher Atomos. What are you doing? I am preparing coffee for breakfast. Can I also prepare milk choco for me, Teacher? Of course, my dear. Here is my milk choco. It looks so delicious, dear Teacher. Hmm. Teacher, why do particles subside at the bottom of the glass? Oh, because there are particles which are too big. They settle at the bottom of the container. 
This is an example of a mixture. Hmm? Okay, I'm going to discuss it to you after you drink that milk choco. I am so excited to learn about your substances and mixtures teacher. Everything that you see around us is an example of matter. A cup of coffee, sugar, pizza, a salt are examples of matter. Matter can be classified into pure substances and mixtures. This means that a cup of coffee, sugar, pizza, and salt can be either classified as pure substances or mixtures. Is there a difference between pure substances and mixtures, teacher? Yes, my dear. Pure substances are made of identical particles and have definite set of properties. All the particles are the same throughout. A gold bar, for example, is a pure substance because it is made of identical particles. I can see the point, teacher. If I look at its composition, it is made out of one type of atom, which is gold, and that no other particles are mixed in it. Moreover, if I cut it into small parts, its composition is still be gold. Gold is an element. Therefore, all the elements found in the periodic table are examples of pure substances teacher. That's right, my dear. So with hydrogen, oxygen, calcium, and the rest of elements on your periodic table, another type of pure substances is compounds. Can I butt in, teacher? Compounds are made up of atoms of two or more elements that are combined chemically into a specific ratio. They cannot be separated physically or by ordinary physical means. An example is water. One molecule of water contains two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen. H2O is its chemical formula. We cannot separate water through physical processes. We need chemical processes for it to be separated called electrolysis. The process to separate hydrogen and oxygen in water is electrolysis. Yes, electrolysis is a process wherein chemical changes occur when electrical energy is applied. Other examples of compounds are table sugar, baking soda, and table salt. Oh, I can see it! Another property of pure substances is that they have fixed melting and boiling point. Pure substances with impurities change the fixed melting and boiling point. Like for example, water. A temperature of 100 degrees Celsius to boil it will only change if other substances are added. In contrast to pure substances, Mixtures are made up of non-identical particles like the salt solution. Why is it called mixture? Because salt solution is made up of non-identical particles, salt and water. We look at their composition. Hence, water is made of hydrogen and oxygen, while salt is made of sodium and chlorine. Therefore, it is a mixture teacher. Other examples of mixtures are halo-halo, fruit salad, and milk tea teacher. That's right! Unlike pure substances, mixtures are made of two or more that are not chemically combined. They are combined physically and substances in the mixture retain their original properties. In a salt and water solution, the chemical properties of salt and water are still the same. Salt is still salt, and water is still water, teacher. Yes! No new substances are formed since substances do not react chemically and their properties remain the same. But 
for mixtures, they are made of two or more substances, have no definite set of properties, come in different proportions, and do not have a fixed ratio. Components of a mixture may vary in amount. For example, sir, if I prepare coffee, I can add more coffee or sugar depending on my taste. That's right! They don't have fixed melting point and boiling point. The melting and boiling point of mixtures depends on the properties of substances combined. Another difference between pure substances and mixtures is that components of mixtures can be separated physically. If I want to separate mixed nuts I am eating, I can do it using my hands called manual picking teacher. Mixtures involve solid and liquid. Solid and solid mixtures like alloys which is found in a pesa coin. Liquid and liquid like vinegar made of water and acetic acid. Gas and gas like the air we breathe contains different gases like nitrogen, oxygen, and other gases. And it can also be a combination of gas and liquid like the soft drinks that we drink, which is a combination of water, carbon dioxide, and other ingredients. Mixture can be further classified into homogeneous and heterogeneous mixture teacher. Yes, my dear. Homogeneous mixture has a uniform appearance, cannot be identified easily and separately. Therefore, the prefix homo is used while heterogeneous mixture does not have a uniform composition. The sizes of the particles and one substance can be easily identified from the other. The prefix word hetero means many. Wow, it seems that you've learned a lot about pure substances and mixtures. Of course, teacher. Now I know how to differentiate pure substances and mixtures based on a set of properties. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome, my dear. Now, you are aware on how to distinguish mixtures from pure substances based on a set of properties. Let's discuss it further after a short break. Science Trivia Science Trivia Science Trivia Did you know? Many of the substances we come into contact with every day are mixtures including the air we breathe, which is a mixture of gases like oxygen and nitrogen. This trivia is brought to you by Daxter.com, Kagham, Doña Rora National High School, and 106.3 FM Dance Radio. It's Science Time! You're listening to Teacher Real. I'm back! Yay! Did you enjoy listening to Teacher Atomos? Yes, ma'am. You learned that matter are classified into two as pure substances and mixtures. And pure substances are further classified into elements and compounds. How about mixtures? Ma'am, mixtures are further classified as homogeneous and heterogeneous. We also learned that pure substances are made of identical particles. Kindly explain further, dear learners. Ma'am, for example, a bar of pure gold. It is an example of pure substance because it is made up of identical particles and made up of one type of atom which is gold. Very good! Pure substances have definite sets of properties. 
What is meant by having definite sets of properties? If we are going to divide a bar of gold into smaller pieces, the properties are still the same. So, gold is an example of pure substance, ma'am. Correct! All elements found in the periodic table are examples of pure substances. Another type of pure substance is compound. What is a compound, my dear learners? Ma'am, compounds are made of atoms of two or more elements that are combined chemically in a specific ratio and cannot be separated by physical means. That's right! Will you give an example of a compound? Example of compound is water, ma'am. Correct! Water is composed of two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen. What will happen if two atoms of hydrogen is combined with two atoms of oxygen? Another compound will be formed, ma'am. That's right! How do you name the compound formed? Ma'am, the compound formed is no longer water or H2O. It is chemically named as hydrogen peroxide with the chemical formula of H2O2 or commonly known as agua oxygenada. Very good! Now, the question is, can we separate water through physical process? No, ma'am. Yes, we cannot separate the components of water through physical means. We need chemical processes to separate hydrogen from oxygen in water through the process of electrolysis. Producing of chemical changes by passage of an electric current through an electrolyte. Upon applying electrolysis, water will be separated into hydrogen and oxygen gases, ma'am. Very good! How about the last property of a pure substance? Pure substance have fixed melting and boiling points, ma'am. Correct! Will you explain it? Water forms into ice at 0 degrees Celsius and boils at 100 degrees Celsius at sea level, ma'am. Very good! Another classification of matter is mixture. What are mixtures? Ma'am, mixtures are composed of different particles. They have no definite sets of properties and they are made up of two or more substances that are combined physically. You're correct! Because of the unique properties of one substance mixed with the other substances, the properties of a mixture is not definite. Will you give some other properties of a mixture? They can be separated by physical means, ma'am. That's right! Will you cite an example? Fruit salad, ma'am. In the fruit salad, the components can be separated by physical means. Absolutely! What is the last property of a mixture? Ma'am, mixtures do not have fixed melting and boiling points. Correct! The temperature of a mixture is not definite. During melting, a mixture has portions that seem to be not melting. Mixtures are classified as homogeneous and heterogeneous. Will you differentiate them? Homogeneous mixtures have uniform composition, while heterogeneous mixtures do not have uniform composition, ma'am. Very good! Any more? The components of homogeneous mixture cannot be seen easily, while in heterogeneous mixture, components can be seen or identified easily. You are correct! Will you give an example of a homogeneous mixture? Salt solution, ma'am. Why do you consider salt solution as homogeneous mixture? Salt solution is an example of homogeneous mixture because its components cannot be seen easily, ma'am. That's right! How about heterogeneous mixture? Will you give an example? Sagot gulaman mix, ma'am. Why do you consider it as heterogeneous mixture? Because in sagot gulaman, 
you can still distinguish sago from gulaman and you can easily separate gulaman from sago, ma'am. Correct! Can you now distinguish mixtures from substances based on a set of properties? Yes, ma'am. Very good! Let us have a short activity after a short break. Buboy! Pumasok ka na rito at kakain na tayo. Itigil mo na yung paglalaro. Sayang, mag-home base na ako. Sinali naman, wrong timing. <laughs> Nako, kapag tayo po ay uubo o babahing, mangyaring takpan ng ating ilong o bibig, ng siko o tissue upang maiwasan ng pagkalat ng virus. Sinigang para sa tanghalian. Hmm, amay pa lang, panalo. Wait, ugalingin po natin ang puspusang paglilinis ng kamay gamit ang sapon, hand sanitizer at alkohol. Patuloy pa rin ang banta ng COVID-19 kaya tayo ay maging responsable ang mamamayan. Sa kaligtasan ng bayan, disiplina ang kailangan. Stay home, save life. Isang palala mula sa himpilang ito. It's Science Time! You're listening to Teacher Real. I'm back! At this moment, let us answer one of the activities. Kindly open your module on page 12. Please read the directions. Determine whether the properties on page 12 to be filled in the Venn diagram on page 13 as to pure substance or mixture. Write your answer on a separate sheet of paper. So based on the directions, you need to identify the properties given if it describes a pure substance or mixture. Let's begin! Number 1 it has fixed boiling point. Is it a pure substance or a mixture? Again, it has fixed boiling point. Is it a pure substance or a mixture? Hmm? It is a property of a pure substance, ma'am. That's right! Number 2. It has varying boiling point. I repeat. Number two. It has varying boiling point. Hmm? The answer is mixture, ma'am. Correct. How about the third one? It melts completely. Again, it melts completely. The answer is pure substance, ma'am. Very good! How about the fourth one? Some portion seems to be not melting. Again, some portion seems to be not melting. Hmm? Ma'am, it is a property of a mixture. Correct! Did you get all the correct answers? Yes, ma'am. Very good! proves that you understood our lesson today. Please answer all the rest of the activities in your most convenient time after this broadcast. Now, it's time to sum up what we have learned in today's lesson. What are the differences of pure substances and mixtures? Pure substances are made of identical particles while mixtures are made up of non-identical particles, ma'am. Correct! Any more? Pure substances have definite set of properties, while mixtures don't have definite set of properties, ma'am. Absolutely! What else? Ma'am, all particles of pure substance are the same throughout, while mixtures are made of two or more substances that are combined physically. You are right! Any more? Pure substances cannot be separated by physical means while mixtures can be separated by physical means, ma'am. Correct! 
What else? Pure substances have fixed melting and boiling point, while mixtures do not have fixed melting and boiling point, ma'am. Very good! Now, let us answer the following questions. Instant coffee is made by dissolving a powder in hot water. Is it a pure substance or a mixture? Instant coffee is an example of mixture, ma'am. Correct! Why is a bar of gold considered a pure substance? A bar of gold is a pure substance because even if you divide it into small pieces, the property remains the same, ma'am. Very good! So, why is it important to learn mixture and pure substance? Mixtures and pure substances are a common occurrence in our everyday lives. From the air we breathe, the food and drinks we consume, and the fabrics we wear, ma'am. Correct! It reflects that you have learned a lot with our discussion. I hope you enjoyed learning in this week's lesson in Science 7. Before we end today, I would like to acknowledge the teachers behind this School on the Air lesson. Mom Donabel T. Rodriguez and Mom Mirna S. Galingana are script writers. Mom Venus J. Lintao, our language editor. Sir Ronnie G. Abalos and Mom Annabel A. Rodriguez, our content editors. Mom Riza and Marzan, our technical specialists. And I am Mom Riyufei B. Magawai, your radio teacher in science. Thank you very much for listening, my dear grade 7 learners. Stay tuned for our live discussion. Goodbye! Nang makakapigil pa Sulo Arangkada 106.3 Dance Radio Sa Aurora Isabella Ma'am Donna, we're back! Yes! So, ayan, Ma'am Donna Bell, we also have here, ayan, shout out muna pala sa mga viewers and listeners natin yes. this afternoon. So, shout out sa 70 um, viewers. viewers via FB Live, ano? So, shout out sa aking 7 Lapu-Lapu and 7 Luna na kasalukuyang nakikinig. Binabati ko kayong lahat dyan. We also have here, kasama natin, ang bagong... <laughs> ano? Oh, kanina kasi kasama natin si Sir Hector, kaya oh. lang uh, mahina daw ang signal. So, dahil si... So, Ryan ay available ngayon. So, siya ang kasama natin ngayon. So, kasama Ayan. natin si Sir Ryan Kolkol. Yes. And syempre, hindi mawawala si Ma'am Mirna Galingana. Yes, yes Ma'am Mirna? Yes, Ma'am Rio. Good afternoon everyone, especially to our grade 7 learners. Shout out sa aking mga grade 7 Rizal and 7 Samora. Shout out din sa mga hawak ni Sir Hector sa Grade 7 Bonifacio, Grade 7 Del Pilar, and Grade 7 Jacinto. I hope, my dear learners, samahan nyo kami until the end of our live discussions today. Alright, yes. so yan. Good afternoon. Good afternoon po sa ating lahat. 
at siyempre in behalf of Ma'am Merlinda Ramos, binabati ko rin ang kanyang mga anak. Ito ang 7 Cine, 7 Cultura, 7 SPJ, and 7 Crimson. So dear learners, we hope that um, you will be staying with us until the end of our discussion this afternoon. Okay, yes. Binabati ko rin ang aking mga learners, grade 7 learners, ang 7 Archimedes, 7 Newton, and 7 Galileo. Ayan. At sa lahat ng mga grade 7 learners dyan, hello! Ayan. Okay. So, learners, are you ready for our discussion this afternoon? Ako, ma'am. Ako, ma'am. Donna, ready-ready na ako eh. Pati si Ma'am Mirna. Yes. Gina, Gina din. Go na go at si <laughs> Sir Ryan. Ryan. So, Ayan. let's get started. Okay. Ayan, Ma'am Donna Bell. I think our learners are now um, ready. So, we, we have ho our uh, discussion. Let's have a simple game bago natin. Gawin yung discussion natin. Ayan. So, oo. Ayan. Grabe naman, may pag-game agad tayo. <laughs> Ayan. So, Ma'am Rio, I think our learners are very much excited for their badge. Mm -hmm. okay. Diba, Sir Ryan? Yes, Ma'am Bell. So, what should they do, Ma'am, to receive a badge? Ano kailangan nilang gawin sa lang dito? Okay. Sir Ryan, uh, game natin is entitled EPMO. Wow, EPMO. So, Sir Ryan, they just need to identify whether the matter in the picture is a mixture or a pure substance. So, my dear learners, all you need to do is to type capital letter P if it is a pure substance. And capital letter M, if it is a mixture. So, ano pang da gagawin natin, mga dear learners? PM is the key. Yes, PM is the key. Yes, Ma'am Mirna. So, again, learners, just type letter P sa, in, sa ating comment box. Ano? Um, P, if it is a pure substance, yung mixture na ipipresent namin mamaya. And, uh, I, um... M. Matter, I should say. And M, if that matter is a mixture. Okay. So, ma'am, um, sino-sino kaya yung mga ano, makakatanggap ng badge at ano yung mga kailangan nilang gawin sa game na ito? Yes, sir. Ryan, I think there are lots of students who will be happy for our announcement. So, the first five who will get the correct answer for each item will receive an active participation badge. And for those who did not make it, uh, but they attended in our session, they will receive a participation badge. So, marami tayong mabibigyan ngayon ng badge. Yes. Okay. Ma'am Ma Bell, I think, ayun na, sabi ko na kanina, <laughs> ready at excited na sila, kagaya ng yes. mga... Um, Yes, <laughs> oh, oh, alam seven mo, learners. Oh, oh. Uh, alam mo, uh, Ma'am Rio, ang daming nagko-comment sa atin last time or last session na mm -hmm. tuwang-tuwa sila dun sa nareceive nilang badge. Talagang pinagmamalaki din nila sa kanilang mga oh, parents. Oh, yung story nila yun, ano? Sa oh, kanila. Oh, 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 FB story. Nila. Yes. Ayan. So, Ma'am Rio, so here is the picture number one. Ayan. So, the picture number one or the first picture is pizza. So, is it a mixture or a pure substance? Comment down now your answer. Yes. Ayan. So, madami nang nagko-comment. Ang mga answer ni ang answer na ni Randall Agas ay T. Meron ding uh, sumagot ng M. Ayan si Celerita Annabel. Okay. Karamihan po ay P. Ma'am Donna. Yan. But, Sir Ryan, can you reveal the correct answer? What is the correct so, answer? Yes, ma'am. So, the correct answer is, ayan, letter M, mixture. So, pizza is a mixture. Wow. So, ayan yung favorite na, ano ko eh. Merienda. <laughs> so, mixture pala ang favorite uh, snack ko, which is pizza. Ayan. So, Madami so, nakakuha. Lima. Oh, yung first five. Tingnan natin uh, yung first, first five, five na. Ano, ang sagot nila is M. Sino yeah. sila? 
Okay, una dyan, si Felerita. Felerita. Ako, Pido. Yes, si... Um, Sino pa? Liza Orifon. Okay, Liza Orifon. Ray Christian Angelo Sagaysay. Uh, Princess Duque. And Jai Kame Pasilyao. Okay, okay, Princess Duque and si Jaika. Sino yung isa kanina, ma'am? Si... Uh, Pati Ray yung Sagaysay. Ano. Ayan, si... Uh -oh. Si Ray, Ray Christian Sagaysay. Ray Sagaysay. Sagaysay. Ayan. Sagaysay yung kanya? Baka Angelo. Sagayaga. Sagayaga siguro to. Uh -oh. Hindi ko... <laughs> Ray Christian Angelo Sagayaga. Okay, sorry. Ayan. So, sila yung una. First five to answer next tour. Okay. And then, yes, Ma'am Mirna. Okay. Mga anak, ito naman yung pangalawang... Uh, picture. Oh, that is vinegar. Vinegar. Okay. Yung suka na ginagamit natin sa ating pagkain, pagluluto. sa pagluluto. So, is it a mixture or a pure substance, mga anak? Okay, comment down your answers, mga learners, sa inyong comment box. Ayan, marami nang... Naghihintay si Ma'am Rio at Ma'am Donna Bell. Mukhang marami nang ano, nagko-comment. Ayan, for number two, uh, P from Ley Mendoza Bato, P, William Orate M, Sai, ano yan? Saisa de la Cruz P, Leslie Dorotan P, Hi Sam Obsanya, o oh, nag-mention lang siya ng ano niya, Nicole Corpus P, Reynante P, Ashley Doc... Ano uh, Esguera, Dr. P. Riley B Bulala, P. Wow, ang dami yung sumagot ng letter P. P. Ano, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, ano ba ang ating tamang sagot, Ma'am Rio? Yes. So, the correct answer is M. Because okay. vinegar is a mixture. Mixture ba ang vinegar? Oh, is it a mixture? Okay, vinegar is a, a mixture. mixture. Yes. Okay, kasi combination na yan ng different substances. Uh -huh. Okay, tingnan natin. Sino yung mga nanalo? First five ulit ba ito, yes. Ma'am Donna? Pag nag-comment po kayo, pakilagay po yung number ng inyong sinasagutan. Ano? So, tingnan natin. Okay. Ayan, Stephanie Bautista. Mo. Ang sagot niya is... Bautista, mixture. Stephanie. Jesly Bayaka. Sino pa? Nathaniel Andres. Rosalina Cassandra. Hindi ko mabasa M. Si John Mark Tolentino M. Sara Litan M. O, nakailan na tayo, ma'am? Ilan na yon? Okay na po. Okay, so congratulations. Ayan. So, yan. Ano na naman yung ating pangatlong picture? Sir Ryan? Ayan. Yeah. So, makikita natin dyan sa ating picture. Number three is a diamond. So, is it a mixture or a pure substance? Comment down your answer. Ayan. Okay. Okay, for number three, marami na nag-comment. Leslie Dorotan P. Ray Christian Angelo P. Harriet Lagayan P. Jonaline Asherda P. Rodeline Salviejo P. Miriam Sagadraca P. Leslie Dorotan P. Krisha May Sagusho P. Ayan, marami pang mga sumasagot. So, what is the correct answer, Ma'am Mirna? Okay, the correct answer is... P, pure substance, ang diamond. Okay, so oh. congratulations sa ating pinakaunang uh, lima na sumagot ng tama. Sino-sino sila? Tignan natin, balikan natin ulit. Backread tayo. <laughs> Ayan. So, Saira Lakar, ang sagot niya is P. Liza Orifon P. Jai Kapasilyao P. Christmas Fabro P. 
Sanjiro ni Turapi. Ilan na yun, ma'am? Lima na po. Okay. Congratulations. Ayan. So, ma'am yes. Rios? So, wow! <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations <laughs> to all our learners <coughs> who got the correct answers. Okay. Yeah. So, yes, ma'am Rios. So, uh, this time naman, let us start our discussion with ayan, molecule. So, what do we mean by molecule? So, when we say molecule, it is two different kinds of atoms chemically bonded together. Yeah. So, we have here examples. A molecule of water, uh, a combination of two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen. Yeah. So, in our example na nasa tarawan. Okay. And the second one is a pure substances. When we say pure substances, it is a pure substance made up of one element or one type of compound molecule. Halimbawa, we have the helium, copper, gold, and others. So, halimbawa, dito, ibig sabihin, mga mga answer, lahat ng mga elements... Na nasa periodic table natin, sila ay halimbawa ng pure, pure, substances. pure substances. Yes. Another one is mixture. When we say mixture, it can be separated into different parts. And there are two types of mixture. These are homogeneous mixture and heterogeneous mixture. Okay. Ma'am Bell, what is the difference between the two? Ayan, ano nga bang pinagkaiba nitong uh, homogeneous and heterogeneous? Pag sinabi nating homogeneous mixture, substances are evenly spread throughout. Ibig sabihin, hindi mo na ma-identify kung ano yung mga substances na inihalo mo doon. Yes. Okay, so you'll get same amount of everything no matter what you take. Galing huh? mm -hmm. na <laughs> So, examples are soft drinks, Perfume, fabric, conditioner, and many more. Ayan, yung mga example. And actually, Ma'am Donna, di ba? Yung homo is, uh, means, means the same. The same yes. throughout. Yes. yes, the same throughout. Yes, asa RBI natin yun. Uh, di ba, Sir Ryan? Yes, ma'am, so yes, that's right, Ma'am. So homogeneous mixtures are also called solutions. Oh, oh, solutions. So, so, Yan. Example natin, Sir Ryan, sa solution, homogeneous mixture is the salt solution. Kanina sa RBI natin. Oh, oh, salt yes. solution. Pwede rin sugar solution. Yes. Diba? Pinagkalong um, Bakit sugar? siya homogeneous? Kasi pag nahalo mo na siya, hindi mo na kaya yung... Hindi na ma-identify. Hindi mo na kaya yung ma-distinguish kung ano yung mga nando. Yan. Yes. So, how about... A colloid, Ma'am Mirna. Ano ba ang colloid? Okay. Ang colloid, Ma'am Rio, it's look homogeneous. But are actually heterogeneous siya. Mm -hmm. And it is a mixture of two phases of matter. Halimbawa, ng colloids, we have milk, smoke, fog, gels, and others. Hmm... Para siyang homogeneous, pero actually, heterogeneous yes, pala siya. Mapandil lang. Oh, mapandil mm -hmm. lang, ano? Mm -hmm. Ang colloid. So, yeah. yes, that's right, Ma'am Mirna. So, a heterogeneous mixture is one that does not have a uniform composition. So, they are not the same throughout. So, like, for example, yun yung uh, fruit salad, yan, uh, mixed nuts, and many more. Ayan, mm -hmm. so yung dami natin example ng mga heterogeneous mixture. Ayan, mixed nuts, fruit salad. O yan, mga yan. Ang example ng heterogeneous mixture. Ayan. Yung pizza Bakit ay, na favorite one. Ba't siya heterogeneous ng real? Okay, so heterogeneous yung mga examples na yan. Because you can still identify kung saan dyan. Halimbawa, sa fruit salad, you can still identify the... Oo, oh, oh, the varieties yung mga fruits na nandoon. Mm -hmm. Yung papaya, yung apple, di ba? At saka pwede mo siyang paghiwahiwalay na naman. Mm -hmm. yes. True uh, physical, physical, yes. Physical means. means. Oh, pwede mo siyang, ano lang, kutsarahin para oh, i-separate. Oh. Okay, yan. 
Okay, so we also have heterogeneous mixture or heterogeneous mixture are also called suspension. Hindi to yung suspension sa klase, ha? <laughs> suspension yung term natin, no? no? So, when we say suspension, it is a mixture in which particles of a matter are dispersed throughout a liquid or gas but large enough to settle out. You know? So, ibig sabihin nito, uh, homo uh, heterogeneous siya pero hindi kayang tunawin nung solvent yung solute dahil masyadong malalaki yung kanyang particles. So, halimbawa, yung snow globe. Ito, ang gandang laruin ito, di ba? Parang ano, uh, Italian dressing, paints, and medicines. Ayan. Di ba pagka, ano, meron tayong mga gamot na na tinutunaw sa tubig? Yung kinukulog natin, lalagyan natin ng tubig, tapos aalugin mo ng ano, para matunaw yung ano niya, yung powder. Pero, kung titignan mo yung suspension na yon yung medicine na yon hindi talaga siya hindi talaga natunaw dun sa oh, oh. sa tubi. Meron pa rin. No? Yes, ma'am. You know, so, yan ang usapang ano, pagkakano. So, mixing things are very important nga uh, to everyone and to our daily needs like in cooking. So, but on the other hand, there are a lot of mixture around us which is specifically needed to be separated in order to properly use and benefited by human okay? mm -hmm. You're right, Sir Ryan. Now, why people need to separate mixture? Ma'am Rio. Yeah, so people do separate mixtures in order for them to get the things um, or substances they need and give it away with the other substance in the mixture. So let's take a look with these examples. Sir Ryan? Ayan. Ano ba yung nasa ating uh, picture kanina? Parang ano, pakibalik Sir Ryan. Ano ba yan, Ma'am Rio? Um, bigas? Oo, oh, oh, parang. Oh, bigas ba yan, Sir Ryan? Sir Ryan. Yes, Ma'am. So, have you ever seen a rice grain? So, lahat naman siguro tayo, Ma'am, nakakita na. Pero, parang naman tayo kumakain yan. Oo. Pagluto na. Yes, Ma'am. So, take a closer look and you will find other substances. So, Ewan ko lang kay Ma'am Mirna, no? Rice ata siya, eh. <laughs> <laughs> Meron, Ma'am. Ayan. Oo oh, nga. Bakit parang, ano, napapansin ko dun sa mga bigas kung minsan, meron siyang halong batong maliliit. Oo. Oh, oh. Meron siyang maliliit na parang mga, ano yun, yung stock Seeds. lang, ano, ng palay. Oo, oh, oh. mga grass. May mga dahon-dahon, kung minsan, yung, ganun. Yung iba meron pang nahalo mga mais, eh. Oo. Oh, no? oh. Tapos, may insekto din siya. Oo. Oh, oh, ano yun, oh. ano yun, ma'am, meron ang tawag dun sa insektong yun? Yung kulikitin na maliliit? Ano yun? Bukbuk. Uh, Bukbuk. Oo. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Ang matagal na kasi ang bigas, nagkakaroon ng ganun. Oh. Yung mga maliliit naman na bato na naihahalo sa bigas natin, yun ay nakukuha doon sa uh, pagbibilad. Pag pag oh. Kasi karamihan, tayo ay nagbibilad sa may daan. Oh. Oh. Kaya doon natin nakukuha yung mga maliliit na bato na naihahalo doon. Pero, pwede bang matanggal yun ma'am, yung batong yun? Yes ma'am. Ah, uh, natatanggal 'yon kapag 'yung doon sa kuno, oh, 'yung pagpa sa, pa, uh, ano 'yun, uh, pakiskisan. Oh, pakiskisan. Mm -hmm. Kung 'yung pakiskisan mo, 'yung kuno na pinuntahan mo ay meron siyang stoner, natatanggal 'yon. Ah, mm -hmm. yung pala ibig sabihin ng stoner. Yes. Ay pala with stoner. Kaya yes. pala ganda ng stone. Oh, yung pala yun. Ano, Sir uh -huh. Ryan? Yes, ma'am. So itong mga bagay nga na ito na pwedeng may halos sa pagkain natin. Ay ayaw natin siyempre may ihalo sa ating kinakain. Yes. Siyempre, yes. Sir Ryan, ikaw ba na makakain? Tapos <laughs> bato yung mga. Oh, sakit Mas sakit sakit yun. Uh -huh. yeah. So that's Saka why, delikado yun, di ba? Yes, that's why you need to find a way na uh, to get rid from these unwanted substances and peace separated to your rights. Yeah? So, marami tayong uh, mga ways kung paano natin i-separate yung mga mixtures. Mm. Uh, Kaya yes. nga, nung unang panahon, di ba, wala pang mga kiskisan na may stoner. Mm -hmm. yeah. Ang ginagawa ng ating mga magulang noon, bago nila isa isaing yung mga bigas natin, di ba, 
Meron ang ginagawa nila, gumagamit sila ng dilao. Oo. O, para malinisan 'yon. Hmm. Para ma- matanggal yung uh, ibang substances na nahihalo doon. Oh. Meron din isa pang example, 'di ba, Ma'am Mirna, yung pag uh, sa mga baril-baril kasi pagka sa poso, 'di ba, kung minsan pag matagal na yung poso natin, meron siyang kalawa mm-hmm. o kaya meron siyang buhangin. Madumi yung lumalabas. Oo, oh, oh. 'di ba? Kung minsan, Ma'am, ano yung nilalagay nila? Yung... Uh, naglalagay sila ng kwan ma mga yung tela. plot uh-huh. tela Malinis. kaya stockings uh-huh. diba? medyas medyas <laughs> medyas pero yeah. hindi yung kagagamit lang <laughs> maka daw tatanggal lang sa pamoy <laughs> lalo na kung yung poso ninyo ay mara- mabuhangin mabuhangin ay kalawang correct para ah, yan. Oo, oh, kasi itong mga damit na to or cloth ay natatrap niya yung mga dirt or yung mga unwanted na substance, yes. di ba? Para malinis yung masasad, oh. ano, ah, nasa pail mo. Correct. Yes. Okay. okay. So, substance and different mixture are usually separated from one another using certain processes or method. Okay, these are the ways of separating components of mixtures. So, let's uh, take a look with the screen. Ayan, so number one method is hand picking. Ayan, so it is also called physical manipulation or manual separation. Siyempre, from the word the hand, diba? Yung words hand picking, ginagamit itong ating mga kamay. So, um, we separate the components. Uh, Siyempre, itong mga, we use hand picking if the components are big enough to be picked up by our hands. No? So, example dyan, if you do not want, kalimbawa, Ay, uh, parang familiar sa akin yun. Ano ba yan? Ano yung sa... Bingdo. Bingdo. Ayan. Ah, yan, yan, nandyan sa ano, picture, ano. Ako kasi, eh, ano, ayoko yung green piece dyan. Ah, kasi oh, maano sa lalamunan. Oo, oh, oh, kaya Pwede minsan, ka tinatanggal ko yan. Using my hand, eh, kung oh. maarte ka naman, pwede kang mag-ano lang. Ang tawag na? Oo, yes. Ayan. Ayan. So, pwede siyang pag-iwahiwalayin oh. gamit lang yung iyong kamay. Ayan. Mm-hmm. Galing. Okay, so meron pa tayong example dyan eh. Kapag ka naglalaba ka, Ma'am Mirna, anong ginagawa yes. mo? Ay, ako Ma'am Donna, pag naglalaba ako, ang unang ginagawa ko, hinihiwalay ko muna yung, yung mga halimbawa. damit. Halimbawa, yung puti, puti lahat. Mm-hmm. Yung colored, colored din. Pero hindi lahat ng colored ay pwede mong pagsamahin. Tignan mo din yung mga damit na nag-fade. Huwag mong ihalo doon. Diba? Ah. Kasi kung ihalo mo yung nagpe-fade doon sa hindi, anong magiging kulay sir yan? <laughs> Iniluka naman magi Jay Agali, ano? Agali. Agali. Oh. Agali. Agkupas. Mm-hmm. Uh, ayun. Correct. Eh, kaya pala, nung naglaba kasi ako noon, <laughs> syempre hindi ko pa alam. Bata ka pa noon. Oo, pinaghalo-halo ko lahat. Eh, may pulang, ano, yung mga namumupas. Uh-huh. Tapos yung mga puti, naging kulay pula <laughs> Nagalit yung nangit. <laughs> Wala na. Uh-huh. So, kailangan pag-iwahi. Wala yun. Yes. Ayan. You should separate. So, yan yung isa pang halimbawa na separation of mixtures by hand picking. So, number two, we also have Decantation. Ano bang ibig sabihin ng decantation? So this is a technique used in separating less dense substance from the denser one. By the process of decantation, the mixture should be left undisturbed. It can be done by simply pouring the less dense substance to other container by scooping or using spoon or cups. Uh, example nito yung ano? Nagmix ka ng water at sand. Di ba yung sand, kapag ka sinetya, hinayaan mo lang siya sa isang area, bababa siya. So, magsisettle down sa batang ng container. So, pwede mong paghiwalayin yung sand sa water by decantation. Kasi, mas uh, denser, di ba? Ah, denser, denser yung sand kesa dun sa water. So, so sa bahay din, ma'am, meron din tayong ano, example ng decantation. So, ano, simply, sir? Um, 
before cooking rice, you wash it first, syempre, di ba, ma? Ay, hinugasan so, niya. Nahugasan. <laughs> <laughs> Nahugasan niya. So, uh, yung ano dun, ma'am, yung waste of separate mixture dun, is we, we use um, the decantation. So, to separate rice from the water by simply pouring the water and let the rice stay in the cooking pan. Wow. So, yung katulad na nasa picture. Oo. So, yung pagkatatanggal, yung pag, ano, hinugasan yung... Yung kanin? Yung bigas. Yung bigas. Uh -oh. O, di ba itatapon mo na yung tubig? Mm -hmm. So, that is an example of decantation. So, oh, ang decantation, palagi nating ginagamit yes. yan yes. in our everyday activities. Mm -hmm. Correct. Diba? Sa munggo. Oo. Oh, oh. so, pag sa pagluto ng ano, mga noodles, pansit kanton, di ba? Oo. Oh, oh. Kinagano din natin. Oo. Oh, oh. Last time, one time nga, ginanood kayo, so wala. <laughs> <laughs> wala na yung kanton. Oh, wala na yung kanton. Nagluto ko ulit. Oh. So, ibig sabihin dun, sir, mali yung ginamit mong method. Yes. Dapat. <laughs> Dapat yung isa. <laughs> yung isa. Ah, yung isa Meron mamaya. sa dyan. Oo. Oh. Yung isa mamaya. Oh, oh. Yan. Oh. Hindi. Tinamad na siyang gumamit ng gano'n. <laughs> Gutom na kasi siya. Oo. Okay. Iba pala yung ko ba? Yes. Okay. So, number three method is filtration. Ang filtration, that is a separation method used to separate out pure substances in a mixture. Comprised of particles, some of which are large enough in size to be captured with a porous material. Particle size can vary considerably given by type of mixture. O, nakikita ninyo yung halimbawa ng filtration dyan sa screen natin. So, parang yung example natin kanina yan, ma'am, no? Doon sa may toso. Oo, yun. Yung lalagay tayo ng tela. Yes, ma'am, ginagamit ko ng mga ano, yung mga tao na walang source ng water. For example, sa mga pools or sa mga bukal, di ba? Siyempre, ginagawa nila yun para yung mga... Um, maliliit na particles ay eh, matanggal para malinisan yung tubig na inumin nila. Oo. Oh. Oh, ito sana, Sir Ryan, ang in-apply mo doon. <laughs> sa pansit kanton na nilutubo. Para hindi siya natapon. Oh, Doon diba? sa ano din, nagbo-brew ng coffee, ma'am. Ano-brew? Uh -huh. Wow! Oh, wow. Oh, uh -huh. <laughs> oh, diba? Uh -oh. Yung coffee beans, dinudurog nila yun. Mm -hmm. And then, magpo-pour ng hot water para makuha yung dasa nun sa coffee right. beans. So, using filter paper, diba? Mm -hmm. uh -oh, sinasala nila. Pa, Siyempre, gusto mo ba yung kape mo may mga coffee beans? Oh, diba? <laughs> para ma-separate yung coffee bean sa sa mismo sa coffee o oh, sa liquid. So, yung naiwan sa filter paper, that is called the residue. And then, yung coffee, yung liquid is a filtrate. Okay. Ganun din sa ano, yung pagkuha ng gata. Oo. Oh, oh. ah, oh, diba? Oh, oh. Yung pagka gusto natin magluto ng may gata. Oo. Oh, oh. Diba? Kukuha sila ng tela, tapos lalagay nila yung nyob, tapos pipigain. Yes. Pero ngayon, Ma'am Donna, meron na tayong nagagamit na strainer. Yes, strainer. Uh -huh. Which is yung number four. Yan. Correct. Oh, yan. Yan. Ano ba yan? Sifting or sieving. So, okay. eto naman, it can be used in separating big and fine components. So, oh. so sieving involves using strainer, ayan, or a big screen, to separate the big and fine components of the solid mixture. Ayan. So, halimbawa, oh, kapag magpapatayo ng bahay si, ano, si, si Ryan. Ma, Rio. <laughs> si Ryan, no, yan, <laughs> ng mansion niya. <laughs> Siya yung mismo magsasalandra ng buhangin. <laughs> uh, to separate yung Small malalaking, uh, uh, yung siyempre yung sa buhangin. Uh, uh, yung, yung graba. Graba. Graba ng sand. Uh, uh, graba. Uh, uh, yun. Ayan. Uy, so, doon din sa ano, ma'am. Sa, doon sa bahay, di ba, nagpapakabit sila ng screen. Oo. Uh -oh. uh -huh. So, yung hangin, para Papi ma-filter. Filter. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Pare. <laughs> Ayan, pag nagbe-bake din tayo, di ba, uh, meron yung isang step na kailangan isip mo muna yung flour bago mo siya gamitin para yung mga buong-buong uh, flour eh maging pino. Oo, o kaya is matanggal, matanggal yung mga, di ba, may kuto-kuto. Correct. <laughs> may kuto minsan yun eh yung flour. Yes, lalo na matagal, matagal na. na. Oo. Ayan. So, we also have what we call winnowing. We know you. <laughs> we know we. 
So this is a process of separating unwanted particles by throwing the mixture in the air mm. and letting the wind blows the unwanted particles away. Mm -hmm. So ginagamit ito ng mga magsasaka. Yes. Saka yung lola ko nun maalala ko, Aji, agitaip. Ano ba yun mm. Agitaip. Agitaip, gamit niya yung bilao, oh, inupan oh. niya yung palay mm -hmm. o kaya yung bigas. Tapos hinihipan niya. Oh, oh. Bakit kaya hinihipan? Kaka, tapos merong umaano, mm -hmm. may mga particles na, o yung parang alikabok na oh. natatanggal doon sa Actually, bigas. Actually, galing nila, no? Oh. Oh, Nasa-separate nila yung may laman na, na palay sa hinsa. Sa wala. wala. Oh. 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 Ay, yung itpis. Itpis, oh, yes. <laughs> so, yun pala yun, yung winnowing. Agitaip gamit yung bila. Oh. Oh. Ang tawag ko yung winnowing basket. Wow. Oh. Mm -hmm. So, pero nung, nung sinubukan ko yung lahat yung palay, natapon ni eh. <laughs> oh, may, may technique pala yun. <laughs> may lakas kasi ng pag-angat ko dun sa bilaw, natapon na. <laughs> may technique yan, Mandona. May Dona. technique pala siya. Oh, oh, dapat daw, isayaw mo. Oh. <laughs> Ayan. So, okay. that is winnowing. Ayan. Yes. Okay. Number six method is the separating mixture using a magnet. Oh. Mm -hmm. We know that metals are attracted to magnet, while non-metals are not. Therefore, this is a good way of separating metals to non-metals. Halimbawa dito, mixture of sand and iron filings. The iron filing can be attracted to magnet while sand is not. O, oh, diba? Tignan ninyo yung nasa screen. Yes. Napapaghiwalay yung iron filing doon sa sand. sand. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, so, tama. So, mas ginagamit din ito sa, ano, sa mga uh, junk shop. O, oh, sa junk shop. Para okay. hindi na sila mag, ano, uh, mayra ka pag-separate kung ano ba yung metal doon sa mga plastic. <laughs> Non-metal. Kasi malalaking ano, scrap yard. Oo, uh -oh. uh -oh. scrap yard. Uh -oh. They use malaking magnet. Malaking magnet. Uh, para separate yung mga metals doon. Yes. So, ibig sabihin, yung ma-attract lang sa magnet is the metal. Uh -oh. And yung mga non-metal, so yun na yung matatakot. This is every one. Uh -oh. so, kasi may mga, ano, may mga metals kasi na hindi naman... Um, na-attract, ano, parang metal siya, oh, oh. pero hindi naman siya na-attract doon sa may magnet. So, ibig sabihin, hindi siya, hindi siya talaga pure metal. Correct. Uh -huh. Pero paano pag gold yun? Hindi siya attracted, no? <laughs> Ayan. Sa bahala na kay John. <laughs> okay. Right. So, we have also number seven, ma'am. Ito yung evaporation. So, this is used to se uh, in separating soluble solids from liquid. So by the use of heat, the liquid evaporates and separated to soluble solid. So meron mm. tayong example dito man yan. Ano yan sir? Parang uh, nasa lawa siya? Yung Ay, sa salt ma'am, pag-harvest nila ng salt. Oh, asin? Yes. Ah, yes. okay. So ano yung ma'am, uh, parang siyang fish pan, ano, pero hindi siya ano, parang uh, yung tubig niya is yung ano, tubig yung salt, dagat. Yung tubig, tubig dagat. Eh. So, uh, pinapaarawan nila ang ganyan tapos yan parang naging evaporate yung okay. water ayan so yung natitira yun na yung salt oh okay ganun pa lang paggawa ng ano asin ganun din ba sir sa iodized salt uh, sa iodized salt ma'am i think it's um sa mas pino lang siguro uh, okay. yes may prepared din sa laboratory siguro sa mga ako. So yun lang familiar na isang example na naman. Evaporation. Yes. Ma'am Rio? Yes. So, ayan. So, malapit na tayo. Number 8 na tayo. Number 8. Distillation naman. Okay. So, this is a process of separating liquids from a solution. Okay? So, the process of... So, ang product natin dito, ang kinukuha natin is yung liquid. Yes. Tama ba? Uh -oh. Kabaligtaran uh -oh. ng evaporation. Uh Oo. -oh. So, this process of distillation is similar with evaporation. But, distillation intend to get the liquid while evaporation is to get the soluble, soluble. solids naman. Mm. So, this based on the this is based on the difference on the boiling point of the substance in the mixture. So, halimbawa, yung mixture na yun ay um, 
ang mga pure substances na nandun sa mixture na yun ay they have a different boiling points. Mm-hmm. We can use distillation. So, in this process, the mixture is heated. The, the substance with lowest boiling point form to vapor and condense to liquid. So, the vapor is collected as so for example sa ano paggawin yung mga distilled water uh, uh, yes. yes. diba sir Ryan ayan so distillation is also used in producing uh, pure yeah. water distilled water ethanol or alcohol mm-hmm. ganun pala ka proseso ano yung paggawa ng alcohol na ginagamit natin ngayon oo uh, uh. no ayan so uh, we also have the what we call chromatography Ayan. Pag sinabi natin chromatography, this is a technique that separates the components of mixtures based on the ability of each component to be drawn across the surface of another material. So, chromatography is good in separating the sub-substance that have different colors such as ink and plant dyes. So, it works in separating dyes because some of the colored substances dissolve in liquid better than the others. And this method is also used in hospitals to detect alcohol and other substances in the bloodstream. Mm. So, nakita ko dun sa video kagabi, nung ano, dyan sa chromatography. Diba yung, halimbawa, pinaghalo-halo mo yung ink, mm-hmm. tapos ilalagay mo yung, ano doon, yung uh, some, ano yung parang paper. Mm-hmm. So, magkakaroon ng, ano, ng pag-akyat doon sa, ano, sa paper nung colored ink. Pero magkakahiwalay siya. Uh-huh. Nag-separate yung colors. So, yon Ginagamit din ang chromatography, Sir Ryan, sa... Yes, um, sa, sa application nito naman sa mga ano, environmental agencies. Yes. Uh-huh. So, they use it to detect uh, the level of pollutants mm. in the water supply. So, you can separate mixture based on the forms of mixture. Yan. So, ang galing pala ng chromatography, ano man? Oo. Oh, oh. Talagang, ano, very useful siya. So, kailangan lang natin na pag-aralan kung paano siya gamitin. Ayan. So, ang dami-dami pala natin para, ano, no, Ma'am Rio? Yes. Nang paghihiwalay ng mixture. Yes. Ayan. So, yung nine na na-mention namin, ito yung, ano, most used, ano? Yes, most used. Oo, na mga methods in separating mixtures. So, okay, uh, so bago tayo magkaroon ng recap, mm-hmm. uh, it's time for uh, giving or give the performance task number 3. So, learners, makinig mabuti. Ito na yung inyong performance task number 3. So, all you need to do is to create an educational video about mixtures. Choose at least 3 examples of mixture present at home. So, mamimili kayo ng tatlong example na mixture na nasa bahay ninyo. And then, show or identify the separating technique that you use in each example. Parang yung mga example natin kanina. Halimbawa, yung, uh, yung paghuhugas mo ng biga, at paghuhugas ng bigas. So, ano bang uh, separation technique ang pwede mong gamitin doon? So, ide-demo nila yan, ma'am. Yes. Yeah. Tapos, yeah. i-video nila. Mm-hmm. Uh, kapag ka naman halimbawa, uh, wala, kayong, uh, wala kayong gadget, wala kayong internet, hindi nyo kayong isend kay teacher, pwede na ang gagawin na lang ninyo, isulat nyo yung tatlong mixture sa papel, ano yung mga example ng mixture na yan, and then i-identify nyo kung anong separating technique ang pwede nyo gamitin para mapaghiwala yung mga components dun sa mixture na yun. ano Para dun sa mga walang... Ano yun? Kapasidad oh, sa oh. internet o yung uh, walang mag-video. Walang mobile phone or Android. Yes, walang uh, cellphone. Halimbawa, keypad lang na yun. May tanong ako, Ma'am Donna. Ano yun? Oh. <laughs> pa- kapag pinaghalo natin, <laughs> halimbawa, accidental na napaghalo mo ang asin at buhangin. Oh my God. Oo, tapos yun na lang yung natitirang asin sa mundo. At kailangan mo ng asin. <laughs> Uy, nung unang panahon, napakahalaga ng asin. Oo, oh, oh. paano mo ngayon mapagkihiwala yan? Anong separating mixture? Ano ba? Ah, A method. Tayo. Anong pwede kong gamitin? 
O, ano pwede mong gamitin? Sand and... Sand and salt. salt. O, ikaw, oh. ano gagamitin? Pwede ba dyan ang hand picking? <laughs> <laughs> so, pwede natin siguro ano, ma'am? Uh, pwede. Na natin. Pwede ba dyan ang sifting and sieving? Same lang naman sila ng, oh. ano, diba, size? Oh. Pwede ba dyan ang filtration? Oh, pwede ba ng filtration? Lalagyan mo, natunaw na rin yung ano. Ano pa ano? yung gamitin? Okay. So, pour water <laughs> sa sun. Ipaghalo. Uh-huh. And then, pwede na doon siguro yung filtration. Yes. Para ma... Mag-settle uh, mag, down. Oo, uh, uh, ma-filter yung sun. Tapos... Uh, yung asin. Oo, uh, yung asin uh, naman or yung salt solution na. And then, uh, evaporation. Uh, oh, diba? So, may iwan yung asin. Salt na. yung dalawa pa. So, dalawang method yes. ang pwede doon. Pwede. Basta mapalabas mo yung gusto mong palabasin. Mm-hmm. Ayan, at meron tayo siyempre k- criteria. Ano ba yung criteria natin? <laughs> Sir Ryan. Ay, may Ayan. criteria! Uh-huh. So, for content, 10. 10 points. Creativity, 10, 10 points. points. Organization, Organization of ideas, 5 points. points. Originality, 5 points. A total of 30 points. Ayan. So, sa mga nakinig ngayon, uh, alam nyo na kung ano ang gagawin. Ayan, napakaganda yes. ng ano natin ngayon. Ano? So, oh. so, now, you know the um, difference between pure substances and mixtures and the di- uh, differ- two classifications of mixtures, yes. ba? Which is, which are heterogeneous yes. and homogeneous. Okay, we also have the different ways in separating Mixtures. We have hand picking, decantation, filtration, filtration sieving and sifting, winnowing, use of magnets, evaporation, distillation, and chromatography. Ayan. So, kailangan lang isipin mo kung anong tamang para ano no? Para oh, oh. hindi ka matulad sa akin kanina. <laughs> Oo, oh, oh, yan sa pansit ka nito lang na tapo. Oo, oh, dapat ang ginawa mo dun, sir, eh, sifting, oh, ano? Oh, yung sifting pala dapat. Oo, oh, yung may strainer gano'n. Ito lang kasi ako ng thumb, kaya... O, oh, kaya kuha ka na lang ng fork, gano'n mo. Oo, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, oh. separation din yun, eh. Separation technique din. Ayan! So, yan, napaka siksik liklig Umaapaw! <laughs> Umaapaw ang ating discussion ngayon. Ayan, uh, i- ano lang natin, mention lang natin si Sir Hector. Hello, Sir Hector. Sir Hector, hindi Ayan. mo kami. <laughs> hindi siya nakano kasi mahina daw yung singa. Uh, so... And uh, thank you, Sir Ryan, for participating. Ah, participating. <laughs> Nabubulol na ako. Participating in our discussion. Ayan. Bale, doble-doble ang trabaho niya. Oh, Oo, <laughs> Uh, technician. Technician tsaka, at the same time eh. Discuss, ano siya, uh, facilitator. Okay, napaka uh, ano. Uh, so, so, maraming salamat po sa lahat ng ating mga viewers. And okay. listeners. Natira ay 59 viewers. 59? Yeah. Oo. Oh, so, okay. so, Ryan? Yes, yes, ma'am. Do, um, yes, ma'am, Bell and ma'am, Rio. <laughs> at dahil napaka-aktibo ng ating mga learners, magpapa- uh, magpa-check na kayo ng attendance <laughs> sa inyong mga officer. Uh, kada klase at kayo ay makakatanggap ng Active, active participation, participation badge. So, so, pero dapat ay talagang tinapos nyo ang ating session. So kami po ay magbabalik next week. Yes. So abangan ulit ang susunod. Oh, that is Monday, Sir Ryan. Yes. Yes. Oh, Monday, Monday na. Lunes. Lunes yes. po ang ating live stream. So abangan RBI. ulit ang susunod na talak- talakayan natin dito lang sa... <laughs> Science terrific time. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you, dear learners. Physics, chemistry, earth science, biology, biochemistry, environmental science. These are some branches of science. Science is about a whole lot more than that. And to sum it up, we believe that science is the way of helping the brain grow in finding new knowledge and help us defeat our curiosity and how the world develops and works today. Science, this is your class. And this is science. And now, here is your host for the day. 
ito ang 106.3 Dance Radio. Dance, Dance Radio. Prepare yourself. Ang silid aralan sa radyo, hatid namin ay makabagong paraan ng pagtuturo at kalaman. Mapaumaga, tanghali o hapon man yan, ang istasyong magbibigay impormasyon kahit sa man. Alright, here we go. 106.3 Dance Radio. Doña Aurora National High School, Santa Rita, Aurora, Isabela. This. 106.3 DWBRFM. 